violin and violas. This is Miss Gretchen. Welcome to my studio. Today we're going to talk about some of what you got in this little packet if you picked up your instrument from school. If you didn't pick your instrument up from school and you have your own instrument, fabulous. But I'll tell you how you can make these kinds these things for yourself at home also. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the shoulder rest. Now in this case, the shoulder rest is two rubber bands attached together and a piece of foam. This question, why do we have shoulder rests? Well, violins are hard and slippery and a shoulder rest makes it easier and more comfortable to hold it up. So here's what we're gonna do. Let me show you how you're gonna put that on. For those of you at home, if you um, want a shoulder rest yourself, ideas. Rubber bands can be a piece of elastic, rubber bands, <laughs> or even maybe hair ties. So what we do is we're gonna put it around the chin rest, and then we're gonna turn the violin over and we're gonna put it all the way across and hook it on the corner. Then we're gonna lift up those rubber bands and put the foam underneath. Some people like the foam a little closer, some like it a little further. You can experiment with it. Some people leave it instead of hooking, the, hooking it here, they hook it on the other side or some bring it across and hook both corners. So you can experiment what makes it most comfortable for you. When, if you have your own violin, you might have something different. You might have something like one of these two things or something even different than that for a shoulder rest. That's okay, any kind of a shoulder rest is fine. Now, when you go to put this, this away, I want you to see what happens if I, leave the sh if I leave the sponge on. Look at the end. The violin doesn't go all the way in the case. That means when I close it, the case is gonna be mashing down on the violin, and we don't want that. So, before we put it in the case, just lift the rubber band and take the sponge out. The rubber band can stay there all the time. Now we can put it in the case. If we have Velcro or ties to do that. Now what do we do with this? So let me give you some ideas. Our whole, whole idea is we want to make sure that we are not making the violin be pushed down by the case. We don't wanna be pushing on the violin. We're trying to take care of it, make it safe. So in this case, I'm lucky there's a spot right under here where I can put it and it doesn't touch the violin at all. I think in this case, I could also put it around the end here and it wouldn't touch at all. This is a pretty big case though. So what some people will probably find is that there's this pocket outside. You can put it on the pocket outside. If that doesn't work, I have a easy solution. Put it back in the Ziploc baggie Put some tape here to reinforce it and then punch a hole through it. And then with a string, you can attach it to your case and you'll have a shoulder rest holder. And it'll always be right there attached to your case. So that takes care of shoulder rests. And I hope that that helps you.